Welcome everybody to this video. My name is Max from Laser Grease Lab. Uh, in this video, we're gonna go over bulk orders and mass production. I deal with um, several customers on a regular basis and I do a lot of bulk orders. So uh, I've learned some things along the way, such as how to gain some of these customers, um, production, how to be efficient um, and so on. And so in this video, I'm gonna go over some of those tips that may be able to help you out too. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just jump right in. The first tip I have is on how to get bulk orders and customers. So first of all, you have to let it be known that you are capable of doing these kind of orders. So if you have a website or some sort of service that you advertise online or a shop, you wanna make sure you add in your descriptions that bulk orders and pricing is available. You wanna show pictures of past bulk jobs or find a way to let customers see that bulk is a possibility. You also wanna know your product and production times. Customers want general information right away, and having that info ready increases your odds of a bulk order. Keep a list of suppliers for products you plan to offer in bulk, and make notes of ship times, availability, your costs, and any other production notes that you find necessary. Another way to get customers is to offer a sample if possible. A customer is more likely to order bulk if you can provide a sample and they can visually see their idea come to life. This also gives you insight on what the production looks like before you start the mass production. Another thing you could do is offer discounts for minimum quantity thresholds. So if they order, let's say 10 at a minimum, um, they'll get 5% off. And this leads us to our next category and that's how to price your bulk orders. Now, there's no set calculation on how to determine what the best price is to offer. You're gonna have to read your customer a little bit and see how much they wanna spend. But you should know that bulk orders are gonna take less time to do per piece than just doing one at a time. So you want to charge the customer appropriately. To give yourself the best price by saving yourself time would be to make sure that you run at full efficiency. You want to plan out your process all the way through and see how you can optimize that time and make it as efficient as possible. That will give your customer the best price possible because it takes you less time. So this brings us to our next point and that is production. You should have some insight on your process since it's factored into your pricing. When doing bulk orders, always start by setting up for continuous output. This means unboxing any items and getting them prepped for engraving. If you have to do one at a time, try to set it up as efficiently as possible so you can swap out blank products for your engraved products with these. If you're doing multiple items at a time, set it up the same way and try to use the time it's engraving for cleaning, repackaging, or finishing. You want to really try and spend the least amount of time as you can in production, so always look for ways to be more efficient in your workflow without sacrificing quality. The customer should be paying for the time, but the time should be smart and efficient if you want to keep and gain those types of customers. This next step is about following up after your sale and after your production. Now, while you're in production, you do want to make sure you take pictures and videos so you can update and show your customer along the way. Customers love updates and progress. It keeps them excited and up to date on their order. Just like any relationship, communication is key. It's also great evidence of experience in handling bulk orders and can be used to show future clients. When you are done with their order and it's sent or picked up by the customer, be sure to follow up with them afterwards and even ask for input. Give them an opportunity to give you feedback and it will build trust and also give you some insight on anything you can improve. Don't be afraid to let them know if they love the work to let others know that they might be interested in a similar job. Asking for a referral is a great way to get word of mouth advertising, which is the highest converting type of marketing. Well, that wraps up the tips that I have for bulk orders and mass production. I hope that this uh, video helped grow your business or helps grow your business and land you those customers that'll point you in the right direction. Uh, if you do have any questions, please feel free to let us know down below in the comments. If you like the video, please make sure you click that like button and also subscribe to get more videos like this in the future. Thanks.